FM 89.9 KMOJ. Twin Cities got a story for you. I had a chance to hang out with my girl Mel G, also known as Scary Spice. It was me and her and a basketball game. And you talking about fine and sexy? I just can't wait. Oh, sister girl, give me a call. I know you're listening. I'm going to put everything on hold because I'm waiting for you. I decided we should be friends. Hey. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, Lord. She, she burnt them. So that's why they're laying this film here so, today. Um, <laughs> I've just got caught saying they're crap and it's a theatre as well. Right, get out. I'm getting changed. Come on, Darren. Right. <laughs> Would have been so much better if you were gay, then I wouldn't feel so body conscious. <laughs> when you came in and I was saying, it's really crap. I didn't mean that this place is really crap. I met the woman who went to me. That's okay. Um, <laughs> so, I'll leave the room and I'll let I you get undressed. I <laughs> um, Okay, I'm gonna leave the room and let you get undressed. And then, um, so I'm gonna start you face down then. Yeah. Um, and then you'll just get underneath the sheets. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. So what kind of massage are you gonna do, Darren? This oh. is a really weird position that you're standing at. <laughs> It's called a nurturing and therapeutic with uh, some trigger point work and stretching. All right. Lovely. Yeah, that's my girl, boy. Where's she at? 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 <laughs> It's cool, man. It's great. I feel really, really lucky. You know, I can decide if I want to go and do my album in America and I'd like to work with these people and see if they want to work with me. And it's brilliant to be able to do that. What a position, you know. And just because, yeah, you might get a bit tired and you might get hassled sometimes when you're tired, but that's a small price to pay, really. When the odd story comes out, well, every week <laughs> about one of us, you know, it's fish and chip paper the next day, isn't it? You can only do so much before you you need to go and recharge your batteries as well. And then it makes working with the group more interesting because you've had your own separate release. You know, it's like being married. You need to go out with the girls now and again to kind of feel, you know, a bit fruity or whatever. Fruity. <laughs> My life's easy. What are you talking about hard and being tired? No. Anyway. You and Jerry still on talking terms? You're all talking? No, we are on talking terms. We just haven't talked, talked for a while yet. But, you know, that will come. There's only so see, much you can say. Did you see the documentary? As far as documentaries go, I thought it was interesting. It gave a good kind of insight, you know, to what her life is like now she's not with the group, but <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Well, you know what she said. What? She said it was you. 
<laughs> she didn't. Did she? I didn't watch all of it. I didn't watch the very end. But I didn't. <laughs> That's your answer. <laughs> no, I thought it was interesting. I think a lot of people felt sorry for her. Oh, I think that's a bit sad, really. I don't. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want anyone to feel sorry for me. I don't think anyone should feel sorry for her either. You know, she knows exactly what she's doing. Oh yeah, feel so good. I'm I've entered into a different, a new world. I've entered into the next level of life. I don't know what kind of mother I'm going to be. I know I'll be a good mother. <laughs> am I going to lose it or am I going to stay sane? I'm not going to tell you what I wished for.